What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Before I crack on with today's update, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, if you want to help to support my channel then do subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Don't forget I am doing daily Manchester City transfer updates for everybody to enjoy. And so uh, if you are enjoying the content then do subscribe if you haven't already. Social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Leave a thumbs up as well if you did enjoy this video once more aiming for 400 likes and also don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below of what you made of these transfers. Without further ado, well, let's crack on with this video. And we're going to start off with the out and we have a conclusion to the little Morgan Rogers um, saga, kind of. He was linked with Nottingham Forest, then he was getting linked with AFC Bournemouth and the latter is the club that he has signed for. He signed for them on a season-long loan and there is an option to buy at the end of next season as well, but I don't have word as of right now what that fee is. We had reports earlier in the linking of this transfer uh, which said £9 million but I haven't got official confirmation on that and so that is what I'm waiting for. Morgan Rogers has also signed a new contract at Manchester City um, until 2024 which has seen him sign for AFC Bournemouth and of course uh, a couple of videos ago I did mention about Philip Sandler and that's what he's going to need to do if he wants to head out on loan. He's been linked with a move to Blackburn Rovers. He's only got 12 months left on his contract contract so he'll need to sign a new contract first and upon him signing that contract will be the agreement of him heading out on loan if he doesn't sign that contract then he more than likely won't be heading out on loan and instead in 12 months time will be released by Manchester City and I'd imagine that City won't be using Philip Sandler so we'll see what happens in that situation now moving on we've got an update on Bernardo Silva now Ekram Connor um, in my opinion an unreliable uh, when it comes to information coming from uh, Italy towards Manchester City but I would mark almost all sources from Italy as unreliable as I, I just don't think they're the most reliable source if I'm completely honest uh, but anyway Ekram Connor has said that Bernardo Silva he's agreed personal terms with AC Milan and apparently AC Milan are struggling for the finances to get this transfer done uh, and that's where the problem lies here and as I mentioned yesterday it is the price that is the sticking point for a lot of clubs Goal have reported that Manchester City are not intending to sell Bernardo Silva to AC Milan this summer after their proposed loan deal for two years was put forward seven and a half million pounds per year for two years equals 15 million and then they pay an extra 30 million pounds as an obligation after two years of them loans which would see the deal worth 45 million pounds but Man City apparently not keen on that now Fabrizio Romano has said that Manchester City um, are expecting some bids to come in for Bernardo Silva in the next few days uh, but he hasn't mentioned any club so I do not know what is happening in terms of which clubs are interested but 90 minute football have suggested that it's Atletico Madrid and Barcelona that are interested in signing Bernardo Silva at this moment in time and Bernardo Silva of course uh, does want to go back to uh, Iberia he wants to go and play more than likely in Spain and so he's been linked with uh, a move to Atletico Madrid and also Barcelona but both clubs currently been linked as a loan move um, and not a permanent transfer which I'm not too sure I see City accepting unless one of two things happen. Number one, there's an obligation to buy at the end of that loan. If there isn't an obligation to buy and there's just an option to buy, I imagine City would be looking for a nice fee from that option and I imagine City probably will be looking towards not only nice bonuses included on the loan deal, realistic ones as well, but also probably looking for a big loan fee too, which again, I'm not too sure, particularly Barcelona can afford. So we'll see what happens in terms of the future of Bernardo Silva. I imagine his future will probably go right down to the wire on transfer deadline day if he is to leave Manchester City which I'm hoping he doesn't because I do think he is a class player now I've also got an update on a Merrick Laporte um Rumours are is saying that Juventus, they're not interested in signing a Merrick Laporte this summer, is what Fabrizio Romano has said. There has been some links involving Cristiano Ronaldo, but some of the details mentioned 
on that uh, transfer hasn't been the most reliable but I will get to that when I speak about that in just one moment I am going to move to the end we're going to mention Harry Kane very quickly uh, Manchester City uh, they're going to go and we talked one last time with Tottenham Hotspur this week with a bid prepared worth apparently around 150 million pounds it won't be a straight up 150 million pounds offered to Spurs of course it'll probably be a big fee of around 100 110 maybe even 120 million pounds plus uh, some add-ons and bonus and stuff with the deal rising up towards 150 million pounds which is what Spurs are looking for and if that doesn't get accepted then I would say it's more than likely that City this week will walk away um, but yeah we'll remain to be seen on what uh, Tottenham Hotspur and Manchester City the discussions are going to happen and if there is going to be room for negotiations and if something can get agreed but what I will say is time is running out on that um, and I also have made a little note in terms of that Harry Kane transfer um, when I'm reporting on them a lot of people are going on to in particular Twitter at this moment in time pretending that they're ITK that they're in the know when they're not I would just wait for reliability from the journalists that are posting that information and normally with the sources that I retweet on Twitter will be coming from reliable um, sources uh, who have good links with the either Manchester City the player or uh, the selling club is normally the direction that I head into uh, and I know there's lots of rumors heading out here and there with lots of people saying lots of different things guesswork so I would say just wait for a bit of reliability uh, and I would take things with a pinch of salt and that's my recommendation when going into the next transfer about Cristiano Ronaldo as well now he is seen as an alternative at Manchester City and Le Quip in France came out with a rather interesting article about how uh, Cristiano Ronaldo he wants to join Manchester City it's not the first and it won't be the last time that I've heard that this summer that information has come from lots of reliable sources, including people like Sam Lee at The Athletic, who have said that Cristiano Ronaldo, he has been offered to Manchester City. There has been discussions about Ronaldo, and apparently Ronaldo is keen on joining Manchester City. He wants to try and win the Ballon d'Or again. He wants to be competing at the highest level, and so he would like to go to Manchester City. He believes that uh, is where he can make that happen. He isn't interested in a move to PSG. He isn't interested in joining up with Lionel Messi, is the information currently that's been heard about Cristiano. Cristiano Ronaldo will have to wait and see as to whether Manchester City do make a move for him or not it's believed that the fee is around 30 million euros so that probably won't be a problem to Manchester City you wouldn't think uh, but uh, there's lots of rumours floating around here and there people are saying Bernardo Silva he could be used as a swap deal involving Juventus and uh, Cristiano Ronaldo coming the opposite way Again, with the finances involved, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, 30 million euros. I imagine Bernardo Silva's value at this moment in time is more than that. Sounds crazy for me to say that sentence, but uh, due to age and contract and things, that's the situation that we're in. I've heard a Merrick Laporte as well saying that he could be used, even though before we just heard that uh, Fabrizio Romano saying that Laporte won't be joining Juventus. So... Uh, we'll see what happens in terms of that. What we do know, Ronaldo is interested in a move to Manchester City. There's been rumours floating around saying that Manchester City uh, are waiting to hear what Harry Kane says. And if Harry Kane, uh, that transfer cannot happen, City will turn their attention to Ronaldo. But they, like I said, they're just rumours. Take that with a pinch of salt. Uh, there isn't, at this moment in time of me recording this video, anything reliable on that information. But if something does become reliable, like I said, Twitter is always a good place to go. I will retweet sources with all the with things happening with that I'll keep you up to date with my transfer updates as well always telling you where I'm getting the information from what the sources are and I can start to add in there if uh, you want me to start saying if I think they're reliable bits of information or not to give you a little bit of a uh, not taking Hagrid SEB's idea of what he does on Twitter but give you a bit of an idea on reliability when it comes to the stories if that's something you'd like to see then do just let me know in the comments below so there we go that has been the video hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy this video leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video 400 likes is what I'm aiming for so any help towards that would be much appreciated don't forget also to leave your thoughts in the comments below in particular Cristiano Ronaldo would you be happy with that I mean imagine the scenes Ronaldo signs for Manchester City Imagine the reaction on the red half of Manchester and their fans. The signing would just be worth it for that. That's worth 30 million euros and that fee being paid, in my opinion. Doesn't even have to play in the blue shirt just to see that reaction. Wouldn't it be amazing? Literally. But anyway, do let me know your thoughts of a potential Ronaldo transfer to Manchester City in the comments below. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. Now aiming for 30k subscribers. 21k, that will probably be the next aim, so any help towards that would be fantastic. Uh, doing daily Manchester City transfer updates for everybody to enjoy, so do subscribe if you haven't already. It's the easiest way to stay up to date every single day with the latest Manchester City transfer news. Also, don't forget social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, my email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries, my partner channel links, they're also in the description too. If you want to go subscribe to my partner channels, that would be fantastic. And I'll see you all again tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer update. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.